Okay, so today I want to talk about a company called Berkshire Gray. Not to be confused with Berkshire Hathaway, it actually has nothing to do with them. This is a robotics company that went public through a SPAC earlier this year, ticker symbol RAAC, Revolution Growth. Steve Case's um, venture fund uh, led this deal. Uh, the SPAC has gone through. It's been de spac if you will. Um, so it's, uh, it's no longer trading under the ticker RAAC. Um, so here's, here's kind of, you know, my thesis on this company, they've got this amazing, these amazing robots, artificial intelligence and software that automate warehouses for customers such as Walmart, TJ Maxx, uh, FedEx and, and Target. I think this is a really exciting moment to have the chance to invest in warehouse robotics. E-commerce saw record growth in 2020. And I think that growth is here to stay. Consumers expect a large selection of products, free shipping, and same-day delivery. This is, this is the Amazon effect. For this reason, brick-and-mortar retailers are relying heavily on warehouses and stores to fulfill their orders anytime, anywhere. The thing is, current supply chain operations are inefficient and they're manually intensive. This leads to industry challenges such as labor availability, increasing customer demands, and increasing competition. Um, Amazon has over 200,000 warehouse robots in service today through their acquisition of Kiva Systems. And since acquiring Kiva Systems, Amazon has spent over $180 billion on R&D and $93 billion on CapEx. So when you think of a company like Berkshire and sort of the tailwinds here, you know, look, what they basically can do is by having all these robots in the warehouse there will be more efficiencies in such a way that you don't need as many people working in there. So that's, that's like this kind of bullet right here, the 70% reduction in labor spend. And what I think is pretty amazing is the throughput of one, one of their robots or one of their solutions as they're calling them is the same as eight manual pickers. So the point is everything's going to get done faster and cheaper. And this is what's really exciting to me is if you think about, you know, if you think about like what that really means, their robots will help their customers achieve large scale efficiencies in their warehouses. And in effect, this should lead to greater margin expansion and higher profits over time. And typically when companies grow their profits, they begin investing in the business even more. And so for a brick and mortar retailer like Target, this could mean expanding into new locations. It could mean increasing their e-commerce inventories in either scenario they should be relying on warehouses even more, which should serve as a catalyst and ultimately more business for a company like Berkshire Gray. Um, another thing I love about this company is that they're initially focusing on five verticals, retail, e-commerce, grocery parcels, and third-party logistics. I love the focus on groceries here. We've seen grocery delivery boom over the last couple of years, and COVID is now setting the standard for the new normal. I think a lot of time and capital is going to go is going to be spent on same day food delivery and that grocery chains are going to be looking for every advantage they can get. In fact, uh, just to give you a sense of the magnitude of these contracts in July. So only you know, a month or so ago, the company announced that it secured a twenty three million dollar contract with a global retailer for online same day grocery fulfillment. Um, but with this said, look, it, there are some risks. Um, the company is selling very large contracts. This means that their sales cycle is probably very long and therefore they will need constant pipeline opportunities in order to grow at the rate that they've been projecting. Um, moreover, this is a very CapEx heavy business, which means the margins and EBITDA profile will be relatively low until the company reaches scale. So for me, this is very much an investment. This is not a trade. I want to be really clear on that. But you know, the way I think about it is I think Amazon's acquisition of Kiva Systems may be one of the greatest M&A deals of all time, and people rarely speak about it. I think this is an opportunity um, to buy into kind of the next Kiva as AI and robotics start to take off. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think the risks are uh, if, the, if the space itself is too saturated and Berkshire is entering too late. Um, definitely want to know. Hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching.